Um, the editor of Furniture Press Books, I'll tell you about that briefly. Our aesthetic is centered around appropriation and intertextuality. So if you are consciously using other works, and the works I mean text, visual elements, or cultural elements, if you're using that as the content of the work, that's what I'm about. My last book, called Or is a collection of 100 poems that is made up completely of appropriate videos. So there's thousands of friends by 400 different videos, which I'll read from my When you said the Emerging Tech Center, I saw EDC, and I thought that's so much cooler than BCT. So you may have to reconsider that. You may have to reconsider it. It would be Baltimore, etc. Like, like furniture and center. You don't really know what the center of the emerging text is yet, or the emerging text center. What we're hoping for in Baltimore is that we become the center of publishers and writers and performers. We become networking system, a center for networking. Not just for publishers and writers, but for the audience also. People who are also participating because the audience participates in reading. No, you're here, you're participants. If you weren't here, this would be completely literary. Art would exist. Like an audience. So, my audience, I'll read from the little book first. I'll go, I'll go for small to big. How about it? These are little poems. I really like bad jokes. And I love telling my kids jokes. I love telling kids Kids, actually, yes. Kids jokes. No. I really like the jokes. Let's take that. The sphincter of Marxism for Aaron Bruin. When I wipe my ass with a page from Lowell, I hear him, super mundi. The mud flies from his hunching wings and beak. My heart. Yes, when I lift that soil page and notice result of last night's mutings, veggie burrito with side of rice and guacamole in the shape of Lil's heart. Ambition love of modern American literature for Ben Havilland. These, these are poems from my friends. If a poem is written and no one understands it, is it still a telephone? The action movie, band aid, trademark, stunt double Microsoft, trademark, expansion, ritual, Brun Truex. Imagine yourself alone, jet fighter, or when Jen met Brad, because it rhymed like it was sad, said like concubine. If sadness can be sexualized. Humor in Dostoevsky in relation to racist inclination and American humor for ad hominem. Question How do you keep 19th century Russian children from jumping on the bed? The answer is put starved, ferocious dogs on the sand. Fake shit for Kevin Hall. Shampoo. This poem is for my mom. You'll see why. Reply, reply all. Hit send. Both, I think, are sent to be hit. Like a small child who looks in the eye and says, I think the world is against me. Sometimes the child is right. Rockabye for Doug Mowbray, who is my editor. A 
thud is a clamor. Once the hammer hits the water. This one is really dopey. Really Ban William Allegretti. Say no to fur. Say, oh God, yes to fur. Medicine News for Julia Randall, who died in 2005. She was this fantastic poet of all time. She was also a nurse. Medicine would not allow me time to misuse it. Zen medication for Matthew Klein. I'm going to do it like he said. Tai Chi. Then. Chai Tea. Menu for Peter Baker. Eat well, but be eaten willingly. One's my favorite. My dick for Nick Ocolo. When I realized I was writing poems about asses and neglecting the penis of all of glory, I decided it was necessary to write a poem. So this is a poem about my dick. Apologies for the brevity of my dick. Hmm. Rabbit's foot for Gabe Haviland. It'll give you luck if you don't fuck up. This is called 26 RD instead of teach. Right here was uh, reading one particular author at a time. Let's say Ted. Then I took his name and I created the acrostic on the page. So I wrote T E D B E R I G. I was looking for the lines that, you know, first began with T, began with E, began with D, and I made Paul put a line of Ted. This was a extension of or. This is our concentrate for the actual right. So I'll read one. This is John Ashby. Of John Ashby. Just being asleep isn't enough. Only gradually the mounds that meant our bodies hit old unwillingness to continue. Now, in associating oneself too strictly with the trajectories of things. At that point, a cat jumps out of the woodwork. So this tangle of impossible resolutions and irresolutions, hastening out of style. If they are to become classics, but woman, never. She is completely out of this world. Except the pause for breath on the peak, referring to the kind where sexual organs are brought in. You and I and the dog. Um, this one is made up of lines by Rachel Blood. Right away, the word full, and here, the dead with gable and garble call eyes name. Hear the wind? Empty. Shaws of memory. Looking the trauma trap. Lucky. Being. Juncture of saturation. Let it go back to weed and overmatch and a state of the what? Declare a sighing gap, singing, gap of herself, ho again, unpronounceable namasani. Poetry, the opposite. It's always given out. The fact, lost, not lost, half lost, and lost, endlessly particular. 
eyes. Say, but now shall say twice. Ich Numenog, the lady one, some dead end the breed. So it makes sense, right? I'm reading, I find that um, writing meaningfully is incredibly problematic for me. Because one tries to establish the occasion thing. I can't do it. I can't cage it. Because then you are focused too much on caging the particular animal that cannot be caged. Here's the cage and here's the rope. Right? What I'm doing is I'm listening, and that's why I like to seal the lines because I'm listening to particular stories that resonate with my reading, with my personality, my and those lines that I find I write down. And this was the mistake I made. The first poem I wrote, I was reading Olson's collective poems. I started writing down the word line, and I read it back, and, and there was a poem. The poem was a collection of mine. It was my notes. It became the poem. So this is the extension. I'm no longer writing poems, by the way. And for years, I've been stealing the poems. This of Kenward only. K minus meets sun's chromosomal dregs. Each gust altered swells. Gist. New Zealand was my first post purity country crush. With many careful feet, ossified sea. Where are you, my love? A gust of wind made his Pepsi keen. Rock to sludge, sludge to lichen, lichen to bracken. Dead lovers, dead lovers. Rainy season's gone. And the message of grave personal boy. Let them coincide with the subway where it lifts itself into the sun, maimed in the bedroom. Surely rehearsed. In case he in sand, then let's it kiss thee. Lucky, girl and orange bloomers on my lawn. My lawn. Invest sheets of little shimmering matter. Even sodden slap, 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 ephemera battling to get in. 